I didn't even get to set it in the rod holder. Oh my gosh. On the shrimp, okay. Mullet one, and so far it's looking like shrimp one. What's up Salt Strong Nation? So recently I took a trip using cut mullet and dead shrimp on the bottom for redfish to see which one would be most productive. Now the reason why I chose to use these baits is because they're definitely at the top of the list for the most common cut and dead baits used, especially here in Northeast Florida where I'm fishing at. And so I wanted to see which one would be most productive. That way, if you guys are planning on getting on the water soon and using one of these baits for a redfish, you'll already know which one is going to give you the best chances. So what I did is I actually put cut mullet on one pole and dead shrimp on the other, both on a Carolina rig, and I literally casted them right on top of each other. You'll see in the catch footage that I actually am getting tangled up because I'm putting the lines so close to each other. And uh, if you don't know what a Carolina rig is, basically it's where you have your main line coming down from your rod tip. So this is my braided line that's on my reel. And in my case, I used a half ounce uh, egg sinker. So you'll put an egg sinker on your line, but you'll wanna make sure that you use an egg sinker that is appropriate weight for where you're fishing at based on the current and the depths where you're at. Um, and then after you put that egg sinker on, you'll put on a swivel. You'll tie your main line to your swivel. So this is where my braid ties to that swivel. And then after that, you'll tie your leader to the other side of that swivel. In my case, I used 20 pound test and he's monofilament. And then I used a 2.0 owner circle hook for my shrimp. And then I used a 4.0 owner circle hook for my mullet since it's a little bit bigger and you wanna match your hook size to your bait size. Now let's check out the catch footage guys uh, so that you guys know which bait is gonna give you the best chances. Oh, there's one already. Couldn't even get the camera set up all the way guys. I already got a fish. Nice. This is a good one. <laughs> Love it. Nice, nice, nice. Big old brother. Ready? There we go. All right, man. Nice, solid redfish. There it is, guys. Nice, solid 27 inch redfish. First thing in the morning on the cut mullet. We're going to let this one go and um, see what else we can get. Nice. I didn't even get to set it in the rod holder. Oh my gosh. On the shrimp, okay. Mullet one, and so far it's looking like shrimp one. Nice. All right, man. All right, guys, so that's one for the shrimp. Uh, so we're, we're one for shrimp. One for um, cut mullet. I'm interested to see what's gonna happen here. I, the line didn't even get to hit the water with this dead shrimp this time. It literally hit the water and he picked it right up. But uh, let's let this one go and see if we can pick up another one. All right, cut mullet. Ready, coming at you. Beautiful. All right, guys, so there's another one for the uh, cut mullet. Two cut mullet, one for the shrimp so far. Let's keep on going and see, see what we can get. There it goes. Yeah. Those big ones, man. <laughs> nice, this is a good one. Yeah. He's got my other line, I think. Here to go. This way. Nice. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Putting these lines so close to each other to give them a fair battle. And uh, they keep getting tangled up. I love it. Nice. 
size. There he is guys, 28 and a half inch redfish. So now that's three on the cut mullet, one on the dead shrimp. So let's get these lines back in the water and see what else we can catch. There he goes. So there it is guys. As you can see, the cut mullet definitely outperformed the dead shrimp, not only in numbers, but also in the size of the fish. And I also want to note that I did constantly have to keep checking my shrimp rig and putting a new shrimp on my hook because of small fish that were out there constantly picking my shrimp off of the hook, which is time consuming. And then also you want to keep your line in the water as much as possible. That way it has more of a chance of a fish coming past it. The more your line is out of the water, the less chances that you're going to have. So if you're going to be getting on the water soon, fishing for redfish on the bottom, definitely go with cut mullet over dead shrimp. That way you know that you're maximizing your time and your chances. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them below. I would be glad to help out. And if you are new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this by providing you with our premium education an exclusive online fishing community and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. We hope to see you in the Insider family soon.